PAUSE machine, which is short for Plasma Arc Additive Welding System. Uh, you could substitute the word wire for welding, but fundamentally we use wire to print our parts. Think of it as a moldless casting process, where you're getting a casting on demand without paying for a mold. We're using the limited molten puddle that we have and trailing that around as we traverse the part to create a continuous casting. Our customers in the aerospace industry are always looking for getting their parts faster. We could be talking 70 hours. They're always looking for absolute quality insurance. And it's really the large parts that those guys are interested in. We could print wing spars with this type of machine. You're basically making things faster and time to market gets reduced and you're decreasing the cost of the part. So it's really a win-win all around for them. You really need the beads of your wire and your motion to be precise where you're actually feeding 100% all the time. Being able to link the deposition of the wire on a millisecond by millisecond basis becomes very important. Having encoders that can create millions of pulses per revolution gives us the sort of resolution that we're looking for. If we go to a much larger machine, we don't want to have to swap to another manufacturer and start all over again, but we don't have to keep reinventing things when we're faced with a new motion challenge. In the aerospace industry, they're looking for data acquisition and logging of all that data to ensure that the process went smoothly. When you're data logging every four milliseconds and you're constantly monitoring your welding parameters and you're closing feedback loops, it's really nice to have a deterministic system. I like the fact that MotionWorks gave me a bunch of different platforms I can use, whether it's structured text or ladder logic or functional block diagrams. So I could pick the right tool for the right application. Yaskawa really stepped up to the plate. So receptive to the ideas that we've had for trying to tie the process technology to the motion technology. The willingness to work with us and that they're going to support us. They're committed to see our, us being successful in this. Turning what we have here in Michigan into a globally accepted process becomes much easier when you're working with a huge multinational.